Welcome back everybody, it's D with these tackle box today. We're talking about nothing but lids. I promised y'all I would show y'all some of the cool old school hats that we got here. And uh, that's what this video is about. So hang on for a little bit. Let me set y'all up so I can see them in the light. And if you guys have some that I don't have that y'all want to get rid of, let me know, man. I'm always looking for brands, different uh, stuff, head and Revel, Cotton Cordell, things like that. Old school stuff, the brands that used to, uh, or some of them still, uh, promote different fishermen and all that hit me up man i'm always looking for some of these nice old old school lids i got a couple more that i'm going to show y'all so let's get right to it give me a minute and i'll hook y'all up with the right angle so y'all can take a look at each one hey guys welcome back everybody it's Steve with these tackle box i got a couple of lids that i wanted to share with you guys and show y'all what all we got here so we're going to go ahead and kick it off with the first one that you've seen on the video there with just our yamaha it's an old school hat it's uh definitely seen some time on the water with us and so that's one of our uh, royal blue i love this uh, hat for just jeans and a white shirt man we're gonna go all fashionistas here but um it's always important for me to uh, have a nice lid on you know when you're out there in the water that's a uh, yamaha let's get into the brands real quick who doesn't recognize that one Berkeley Trialine and you can see it's the old school foamy stuff inside there some of them are in better condition than others this one never uh, it doesn't look like it was ever worn but uh, check it out man pretty cool patch too next up this one's a really cool one I actually had never seen one like this one I seen the ones with the stencils and the different uh, writing and stuff like that but I'm pretty sure they made these for a little while it's got a wild 3d looking uh effect there with the stitching but um it looks pretty cool look let me show you all the side here so that's your fisherman there's your smallie and still building legends one at a time so there you go ranger boats i think they're in uh flipping arkansas if i can remember correctly here's another one if you want to go with the different color Red and white, man. That's pretty cool. Clean, clean looking um, uh, old school hat that you can wear when you're out there on your boat. Now, don't go getting into uh, a skeeter wearing a Ranger boat's hat, man. They're going to uh, tear you a new one, man. So just remember that. Stick to the brand if you like. And um, let's see what else we got here. This one's from one of the locals here, Superior Outfitters. They get, they get a lot of our gear and stuff like that for fishing and hunting in East Texas um, when you're rolling you always got to put some good uh, shoes on your ride or whatever it is that your trailer that you're toting your boat around with so Yokohama got one of those of course we have um, let me see after that BAM anytime I go fishing or hunting HK Benelli, you already know. So, along with that, we have a nice little stash of these here, which is the um, BASS, the organization. A lot of y'all have signed up throughout the years and became members and things like that. And you get your magazines, your hooks, your tips, and stuff about how to be able to catch some nice bass, but at the same time, you get the entry to tournaments and stuff like that I'm not endorsed by them by any means but I do like their patches and their hats and the old school snapbacks can't beat that here's a green one this is the blue almost uh, security style blue with that cordon right there Bass Angler Sportsman Society there you go Here's one with a little different font. Most of these are, I just picked them up, you know, brand new as they are. They sometimes get put, you know, just strapped down, but they don't get put back in a box or anything like that. So we just pick them up where we can. Cabela's. Now after Cabela's, you know what's coming up next because we're talking about the stores, right? 
Well, here goes the green one for those that like the, uh, the color, you know. It's a nice grassy green, Bass Pro. Old school snapback at that. Let's see, we have a Bass Pro. That's just a regular one. I think this is the one that we had on the boat. This one's newer actually. If you notice, it's got the sticker. It's the other one that I showed you. Has the big mesh front and inside too. Look at that. See? This is a nice wide brim type hat. I love that. Let's see what else we got. We got a really well used Bass Pro. Again with the sticker on there. The hard front. And we got a very nice neutral gray. And a nice foamy one. These are the older ones. And then we have one more of the older, older ones. You could tell by the stitch on the patch there. Springfield, Missouri. Nice snap, snapback. Pretty clean condition. So we're going to move on to the next one. Got a bunch of them, so I'm going pretty fast here because it takes a minute. And I know some of y'all get bored of just waiting on there for the next picture. So here's a Penn's Reel, uh, Penn Reels International hat. Penn Reels. So found this one somewhere in the state cell, I believe. The guy had a couple of pen reels and I guess he liked the brand so he had this hanging there in his man cave um, I like it not much for form but I like it then we have one that everybody recognizes this would be your Abu Garcia and this was a uh, I guess it was for the um, endorsement of the brand there was one here that came out in corduroy so you can see and I think this was for a specific uh, reel not sure but both of them are brand new never been worn just collected now let's move on to have you ever seen the yellow rebel that's the uh, rebel logo for the fishing lures there's a guy there on the boat and it's a yellow snapback green under lid pretty cool huh now along with the yellow one we have the one that has the foamy front, Rebel Lures, there's your little Rebel pin, snap back at that, nice clean hat, there you go, let's see, move on to the next one, now we have one that this brand I'm sure you guys recognize from a mile away, this is your Zepco Classic American Reel. This style with these, uh, with these, this little piece here, this scheme or theme or whatever, was very um, popular back in the what, 19, mid 60s, 70s, and uh, probably seven, mid 70s, and it's the snapback style, really cool mesh with the foam, nice big front lid there, the brim. We got a. Uh, a nice uh, silver stitch rim with the um, Zepco 33 Classic. And uh, if you if you know anything about that, is this Zepco 33 Classic had the um, gold little um, stickers and stuff on it, but it also had the silver finish to it. So this hat actually represents that really cool. And I also got a little pin that I wear with the hat there for the fishing Zepco Go fishing. And that's also a nice old school snapback. Um, let's see. We have another one of the same, I believe. Something's different about this one. No, it looks like it might be the exact same as the other one. I thought it was an anniversary one. Then we have something a little bit more special, which is a Zepco in yellow with a nice, interesting bumblebee kind of a layout and if you notice these guys here and these guys here have the same see the same little uh, boat guy casting and all that so that's pretty interesting right there after that Zepco we have a more modern red with the uh, it still has the foam 
It's probably older, but a more modern patch there. Black and white patch on a red hat. That's Mr. Zepco. And last in the Zepco is this very interesting cartoon style type of... Uh, I can't see the letters down there, so they're so tiny. But um, what do you think about the color? It's like a banana pudding color. I'm not sure. It's interesting. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's move on to the next one. Now, here's some of the Texas stuff that we got. We have a uh, volunteer Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. So I can wear that and go try to see if I can catch some of uh, people fishing out there in the state parks. And this is a 2017 Texas Oilman's Bass Invitational. So it had to be somewhere out here in one of these lakes. I'll have to look into that more modern so it's probably one of the year, um, not so early tournaments this is a uh, Jack Long team marine Jack Long marine team that's what it is for uh, sponsors I guess for somebody out there that's doing their fishing stuff here is a uh, an interesting one from the city here that we live close by Gladewater Bass Anglers 1996 I'd like to check into this and see more about what's going on with that if it's still around Y'all know anything? Let me know. And this one, I believe we have a, um, a patch for this KYKX Big Bass Bonanza. I remember seeing something like that. Regardless, this is a brand new hat. And I only picked it up because of that. Because I saw the fish on there and the, and the Big Bass Bonanza, which I'm assuming is a tournament. So we're going to look into that. Or if you got any information, let me know. Now, we also couldn't have a complete collection of lids without having Mr. Bill Dance sign one of these um, you know the Tennessee Vols hats it says that uh, these tackle box let's go fishing and so we haven't I think this is the one that we have worn we have like two three other ones but this one's the one that we wear when we go fishing the other ones are in the uh, collection of Bill Dance memorabilia that I got there now this one is from our Takao brothers out there in uh, Osaka, Japan. Wanted to show that one off real quick, the logo. I don't know exactly what all the story is behind it, but I do like the emblem of the hat. So pretty cool, man. And those guys are out there on Instagram catching fish, doing stuff. Here's one that one of our buddies sent us as well. It's supposed to be some cartoon from Japan. And uh, that's for when you miss your fish. Don't cry. After that, we have a couple more that I wanted to show y'all. This one is pretty interesting. The Eagle Claw 45 automatic. And I'm assuming it's referring to some hooks. Or I'm not sure, man. If y'all got any more information on that one, product-wise, let me know. I'm not too into Eagle Claw, but I could not let go of this hat because of the color scheme. It looks pretty cool. Then we have a nice foamy pad front. Shimano. It's got a um, Tomorrow's Tackle Today slogan. And so this one looks like it's missing the snapback. Yeah, it's broken. Probably dried up. But a Shimano nonetheless. Pretty cool, interesting colors. I love it. Very retro. Bagley. Bagley lures are Florida's favorite lures. We know that a lot of people collect these. There's tons of different models. Tons of colors. Really cool interesting uh, lures um, the hat itself is cracked probably dried and broken it's not ever been worn so that's pretty interesting brand new hat this one here a discontinued brand from back in the day Lord Jensen I so love that symmetrical emblem the logo and so this is a, a more modern type of hat but still the Lord Jensen logo looks nice and clean very cool Aesthetically, it's very appealing. And we have Smithwick Lures and Company. That, my friends, is a rare hat. It's an old school foamy one that somebody was wearing out here in Louisiana. And I picked it up at a, I think it was a garage sale or something like that. And ended up getting me a nice Smithwick hat from the company Smithwick Lures in Louisiana. And so that right there is most of our collection.
Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that quick look at all those old school uh, hats and lids, or whatever you want to call them, stamp bags, whatever it is that you call them and you recognize them by. We have a ton of other ones, man, like different brands of different stuff, Ford, Chevy, Stodge, all that kind of stuff. But we like to wear different ones when we go out there fishing. And I told you guys I wanted to show y'all some of these rare hats like the uh, Smithwick one that I showed y'all. That's a pretty tough uh, um, hat to, to find, you know. It's just, um, I haven't seen any since I've been collecting. That's the only one that I've ever seen and I'm glad that I picked it up. I don't know if anybody else has any out there. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I am looking for a couple like uh, Head In, Cotton Cordell, uh, just uh, Shakespeare, things like that that, are, that come from back in those days, 1960s, 70s, 50s. Um, hats that actually, you know, we could probably put in a collection. So. If you guys have any, you want to get rid of them, you want to turn them into some lures or whatever, just call me or hit me up here, message me, and I'll do my best to put some cool lures you can use to fish. And uh, if you guys have any questions in regards to any of the brands that y'all saw me flip through on these hats, let me know. Also, I got a couple of other emails and messages from a couple of you guys that are watching our channel asking me for uh, different information on different lures, uh, tackle boxes, what colors, patterns, and stuff like that. And I appreciate you guys reaching out to us and trusting in us to find you an answer for some of those questions. And I appreciate y'all's patience too because we do go through quite a bit of messages whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or whatever, email. And do, I do appreciate um, Mr. Rodriguez, I believe. He sent us a package and I'm gonna go ahead and attach this one down here right behind this video so we can uh, appreciate the, the uh, gift that you gave us uh, those worms the man's worms and a couple of other things that you sent in the box there i appreciate you taking the time to do that and as always this is the signing off for this time we'll see you next time peace out so we got the box here in hand today and we're going to go ahead and pop this sucker open so we got i wanted to share with you guys I love sharing when we get mail, especially from the viewers here on the channel. It's always uh, cool to see what kind of stuff pops up here and there. And um, I do appreciate you guys, you know, looking out for us as far as when we're adding to our collections. Somebody always yields something somewhere, and we appreciate that. So, you guys, let's see what we got here. Mr. Rodriguez contact contacted me a while back and he was like hey man I just caught your channel and was wondering if you had these uh, man lures and I was like man I gotta see which ones you're talking about check that out yep definitely gonna throw those out there what are these this is a man's what is this Let's see what it is. Can y'all tell what it is from right there from looking at the package? It says man's on there and I think these are depth depth chargers or something like that. Let's see what else we got. Love the color on that one. It's June bug, I believe. Cool, even hooked me up with the stuff to put it together and put them to work. Let's see what else we got here. Now you guys, everybody has different fishing waters because I know some guys that pack boxes full of like salt water stuff or you know for fishing uh, coastal waters and things like that. But we do a lot of bass fishing out here, crappie fishing, bluegills, sunfish, stuff like that. What is this? I don't remember them talking about sending anything Cordell related, but look, this is a uh, Cordell Redfin box. Let's see what's in here. Oh, nice. You can't go wrong with the black back silver. So we got a Cordell Redfin. This is your um, four and three eighths of an inch series 800. Number 854 has to do with the uh, color, the black back on silver with the texture. So check that out, man. I appreciate you uh, letting these go and coming this way. Come fish uh, East Texas waters, right? So I appreciate that, Mr. Rodriguez. Big shout out, buddy. Thank you so much for providing us a, co a cool couple of uh, retro lures to put to work. And I believe that's what these are, depth chargers. I believe that's what you call them. I, I might be mistaken, but I think that's what they are. 
but just for the look of it check that out and it says right there and it says man's you just gotta remember which one of the models he was talking about when he said he was going to send these this way but thank you man we got the couple of cool lures to put to work we also while we're talking about that wanted to show you all something else real quick let me see if i can get in here See if we can find it real quick. We have out of all these patches and lures and stuff, there was one that I wanted to show you guys that I got in the mail from a good buddy here in our group. And um, he contacted me the other day and wanted to let me know that he was sending something our way when that box arrived and I opened it I had a very cool pair of um, patches one of them was this one nice little aqua blue son uh, head and um, bass with river run in there and that's a beautiful brand new patch the other one is a little bit tougher now if i could just remember where in the world that i put that oh here it is so the other patch that he sent me was this one and this is a nice tough patch guys so keep an eye out for this one there's another one that has a date on the top there but this one here the head and all american invitational bass tournament that's a pretty cool patch man you don't come around finding these often so I did get this one and this one and I appreciate that I, I really appreciate you guys taking care of us and sending us uh, lures and you know just different packages of stuff that we can add to our collection I received a couple of river runs the other day some chuggers so just really cool stuff and I appreciate you guys doing that for us we're always looking to add to our collection but we're always also uh, trying to you know give away stuff and do things like that so I appreciate y'all another one of the mail calls that I got was this here and as you can tell that was one of the ones I was liking the first edition head and plastics uh, collectibles man this is a nice book and I like it because this one has a lot of information in regards to the earlier plastics that we're always asking about but it also has a lot of pictures with colors that you can see the the different uh, runs of the patterns and all that color codes information things like that the Japanese market and all that good stuff so this one got uh, got home to us a couple of days back and we're really excited to add that one to our collection as you guys know we have a lot of uh, different books from the past but this one was one we were lacking so hey man eBay can help thanks to all who watch our channel though we appreciate you guys so thanks to all you guys that watch our channel. Thanks to all y'all fans that actually love to go out there and fish old school stuff. All of you guys and ladies that uh, that uh, actually support us by means of watching our videos and commenting and talking to us about, you know, the different things that y'all like and y'all enjoy or the uh, fishing lures and stuff that y'all have inherited, man. I've got a couple of emails here the last couple of days of people that are uh, going through different piles of lures and tackle boxes and things like that. And it's always cool to see these lures pop up out of nowhere. So you guys stay tuned for the next video. And uh, this is the signing off till the next time, man. We'll catch up with y'all here on our channel. Stay tuned.